Help. So that's the key, and I try to get it. So that worked, and now everyone's Hello. chasing me. But I, what I'm going to try actually is open this door and see if I can draw <coughs> as many of them as possible with me into this room. Okay, I'm hoping now. Okay, I've got a plan. I'm gonna try. Ouch. Okay, so what am I going to do to these imps? I could. Uh, Actually, I'm going to try and calm them down. That worked. This one as well. Okay, the marauders are coming. But for now, the imps aren't doing anything. And I need the role the marauders actually. Did the imps actually kill this battle mage? You can see that way. Okay, so the warlord is over there. Oh, 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 oh. oh my. Definitely not doing this the easy way. I'm trying to challenge myself, I guess. Okay, this is where. Okay, the battle music disappeared? Just stop right there, all right? I can't let you leave with that amulet. What, you think I didn't know? I took the other one. It's not even as if I was going to keep it. Once she helped me advance out of that place and step down, why are you trying to ruin everything? That's an interesting question. Um, actually, I'm trying not to kill anybody. I must admit, I'm still ah. trying to manipulate people a little bit, though. That's what I'm hoping to do. Let's get this on. Right now, yes, look at this. I've defeated Kalthor. Actually, no, I haven't. Um, he's been killed by these marauders. But I can now pick up his key. I can even actually try and pick this chest in the middle of combat. <laughs> That's oblivion for you. Um, because everything, uh, so all the other scrolls up until now for you, because everything goes on hold while you're in sort of dialogue or inventory mode. That's going to be changed in Skyrim by here. It does make it a lot less realistic, but it's uh, kind of fun though. Now, if I could only just concentrate on uh, be patient enough. I'll pick up everything in there. It doesn't really belong to anyone, really, so uh, it's not actually stealing. Although, uh, <laughs> I mean, it really doesn't because uh, the imps are protecting this stuff, so it belongs to uh, the Gale's parents. Notice that the warlord that was chasing me earlier on, uh, or that I took the key from, is actually gone now. He sort of disappeared by script, apparently, because I had him follow me. 
into the actual um, past that door once uh, when I picked up the amulet. And when I did, he disappeared. The moment I picked up the amulet and Kalthor showed up, uh, the wall disappeared. So, but anyway, here we are outside, and uh, just to review extremely briefly, uh, I haven't actually killed anyone, but I have managed to get out. I have also got, um, let's see, Nanduin's amulet right there, and if I look at my quest, it'll tell me I've defeated Kalthor. Yeah, yeah, well, I have in a way, but I didn't kill him. Um, now if I can only find my horse, there he is, I should be able to outride these people chasing me. So there you have it. And uh, I think, yeah, there's another marauder over there, I'll just have to outride there as well. So there you have it, and I'll be back in a later episode. Okay, I was uh, actually going to end the episode here, but uh, I decided I wanted to... Um, Make a couple more comments, just uh, while I'm trying to um, shake off the marauders following me and sort of uh, on the way to Leowin. So if you're not into this kind of that kind of stuff, you can just uh, you know uh, move on to the next episode if it's out yet or just whatever. But um, I just wanted to make a little epilogue here because. Uh, you know, uh, personally, uh, as a player, I've got like a feeling of uh, accomplishment right now. Because, I mean, I could have just killed the Marauder and Kalthar, and, and like I showed in the last episode. Um, but, I, I mean, but this time I manage to uh, stick to my rule of not killing people uh, even though I had to actually reload a lot and I know that maybe isn't what you like usually associate with uh, role playing so uh, maybe it's more a question of uh, a play style that I want to test out rather than actually role playing um, but I'd also like to just point out that uh, what you've just been uh, watching now makes a lot more sense, role-playing wise, really, than having to kill, like, first the Marauder and then... Uh, yeah, first the Marauder just because that's the, really the only thing that can make Kalthar actually able to die. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, obviously, none of this makes a lick of difference to Kalthar. Or to the Marauders themselves. I mean, they're just as dead, no matter who killed them. But um, yeah, so from my uh, character's point of view, uh, he is definitely filled with a lot of remorse and regret right now for all the lives that've been lost. Because I mean, he's just seen a, a really very simple mission of just retrieving an amulet from a tomb, turn into a sort of general slaughterhouse where at least two people died, or I think three, three I think. But, I mean, at least uh, he's not, like, directly uh, responsible for what happened. I mean, it's not as if he uh, cast a frenzy spell on people that made, you know, everybody go crazy and kill each other or, or anything like that. Um, so, but, he's... You know, probably still feeling kind of guilty uh, about this whole affair, and especially I think about Kalthar's death. You know, the uh, his fellow Mages Guild member and the Marauders, but you know, the fact that Kalthar now followed him to, to followed Pax of Phyllis actually to try and stop him, and then got himself and some some Marauders killed in the process. So, yeah, Paxophilus is not very happy about that. He's really very sad now that he's gonna, going back to these people to sort of break the news. Uh, Hello, associate. Yeah, hi there, Agata. Yes, is there something I can help you with? Well, uh, 
I've got this stone now. It costs a lot of pain and death, I'm afraid, but I've got you it. You found it! Oh, how wonderful! Okay, so what about that recommendation? If you've got the amulet, then DeGale should be able to regain control of her visions. All right, I'll talk to her, I guess. You too! Nothing has changed, child. The voices still cry out. Really? But look here, I've found the, the amulet belonging to your uh, sire, as you called him. Found it, have you? Silenced the hands that betrayed and took what was mine? Then let me have the stone so that the voices can be shut out. Yeah, here you go. Ah, oh, uh, child, I thank you for helping me. With the voices quieted for now, the words you seek have come to me. You shall have my recommendation. Though I must warn you, I've seen things in your future. It will be up to you to decide the fate of many. Life and death are strange things, easily manipulated, and both will be altered by your hands. They already have. Uh, I'm quite sad to say. Um, you said that I have silenced the hand that betrayed. Well, um, <laughs> how do you silence a hand, by the way? Isn't actually a hand pretty silent? Oh, well, I guess I should expect sort of straight metaphors from uh, <laughs> someone like that. Anyway, Good day. Uh, so does that mean I can get into the Arcane University now? Within its walls live those who determine the fate of the guild. You will come to know it well in time. Okay, yeah, I Take guess care. that's maybe our next stop. It's my pleasure. Yep. So, I'll finally be Keep able up. to... Yeah, I've received recommendations from all the local guild halls in Cyril now, so I'm supposed to get to the Arcane University and talk to this polar sky. Yep. Yeah, but at what cost? I mean, uh, actually, a fellow Mages Guild member had to die. Uh, for me to get into the Arcane University, that's, uh, I'm really very sad about that, but, yeah, um, so I guess for the next episode, uh, Arcane University, and, uh, hopefully making some more new and interesting versions of the spells we'll be using, so, uh, yeah, uh, as, uh, my name is Lily, usually says, uh, if you've been watching, thanks! I mean, uh, I realize I've actually, uh, <laughs> I've maybe not been as polite as I should in these Let's Plays, I've just been sort of uh, focused on the playings, but I mean, really, um, a, a big, big thanks to everyone who's been watching. Um, and commenting, and helping, and I re really do appreciate it. So yeah, see you in another episode, I guess.